Hello everybody, I got this Husqvarna TS-248 XD and the issue with it, sorry about my finger getting in the way there, but the issue with it, it will start and run and it sounds okay, somewhat to most people it would sound okay, but when you put the PTO on, it will either slow the motor way down like it's going to die or it'll kill it out depending on where you got the throttle set at. And I will show you what it's doing here. My other camera took a crap on me so I'm trying to do this with my phone and I do apologize. And that's what it will do. And with it doing that, it sounds like it could be a belt, or it could be a bearing, or even a PTO. <coughs> and with it doing that, I checked the belts and the bearings and the pulleys, and everything seems okay. I didn't find anything wrong with it. So the next thing I did, I checked the PTO, <clears throat> excuse me, and the PTO is starting up and shutting off good because I removed the belt and I tuck and pulled the PTO with it running and everything's fine. And next thing I went to is checking the motor here to see if it's firing good. And I will show you what I did here. You can take and use some spark plug testers to see if they're firing. Let me grab them here. My shop is really packed in. But you got these here testers, the one is just your basic simple one you plug onto your spark plug and the boot of the coil goes on here i will show you and trying to do this one-handed is a lot of fun but you would plug your one in there and you would take this one and plug it onto that and it should show that it's firing. We will leave it like that maybe. Hopefully it'll stay. And you have this other style like this, which plugs into the boot there. And the other end has an alligator clip. You just hook onto the end of the spark plug. And this has different spots on it. And for the small engines, it's right there. So if it's firing in between that, it should be okay. It should be more towards the wider part of it. And that means it's firing really good. So we'll go ahead and start this up and I will show you how to check it without using these testers because most people aren't gonna have these around. So we will see if it'll start up here again. Maybe. I did that, 
that doesn't make any change on the running of it. If you go to the other side, and you pull it, it kills the engine out. So that tells me it's only firing on this cylinder. <coughs> So out of the two cylinders, it's only running on one. So that's why it's not having the power and it's killing it the, out when you pull a PTO. So that tells me either the ground wire from the coil is shorting out and it's killing it out, or you have a bad coil. Most of the time it's a bad coil so that's one way to check those. And if you're is doing that, that's what I would do. I would check the deck, make sure all the bearings are good and everything, and pulleys. Make sure the belt ain't catching on something. And after that, I would check your spark on your engine. Make sure it's firing good. So don't forget to check out my videos, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification button and have a great day, everybody. Bye.